Hey guys, welcome back to D Rich Spirits. Uh, it's cold, rainy, windy day here in uh, in Ohio. It was 75 yesterday. Today it's like 44. Uh, so to wash the Monday rainy blues away, I go to newly acquired Blue Run Golden Rye. I have had this a couple weeks ago. Uh, my thoughts on that, I'll hold for a minute. But right now we will do a review on it. Just so I can revisit, see how it opened up. Uh, very curious about how it, it's going to go. Oh. So the Golden Rye is bottled out of Bardstown. Bardstown, every, Bardstown right now is so hot. Everything coming out of Bardstown is just delicious. And I'm even hearing it's good bourbon hunting grounds in Bardstown. You, you, they're finding excellent bottles, but. That's beside the point. Let's get back to the golden rye. So the golden rye, uh, this is, I would say, it's the little brother to the other ones that were out there. Uh, everything about the Blue Run since it came out, from my experience, has been uh, expensive. <laughs> everything has been expensive without it being proven, right? I don't mind paying money for a bottle if it's proven. Nobody could prove it. Nobody know. It was just kind of, you pay $150 and maybe it's good, maybe it's not. Uh, so this one, I did pass on the others when I seen them at that price range because uh, I haven't heard anything about it. I didn't hear anything. Uh, but now I'm hearing great things about Blue Run all in all. I did grab this bottle out of Kentucky uh, for $98. $98. This is the Golden Rye. It's a non-age statement, so I'm assuming it's a lot younger than the 14-year-olds uh, that I've seen. Uh, this is the little brother. But from my experience, when I did taste it a couple weeks ago, it was delicious. But I was already impaired, so it wasn't too hard to impress me at that point. But I am back here to revisit it and share my thoughts with you guys. The Golden Rye. Beautiful. Everything about it, I really do love this bottle, right? The nostalgia, um, you know, what I'm hearing about the other ones, this is the only bottle I've had so far. I am a rye whiskey fan. I'm a spirit fan in general. If, it, if you got good juice, I'll find it. I'll taste it. I'll enjoy it. Bubble gum. Wow. We. Oui. Like the cheap bubble gum, the the when you were a kid, that really really hard bubble gum, it wasn't Hubba Bubba. What the heck was that gum? The bubble gum. I think it was just called bubble gum. It came in a wrapper. This one big fat piece of hard bubble gum. Now finding its way in some fruits. Strawberry. A little licorice. Uh, there's that beautiful rye, rye spices, vanilla. All right, let me go in for one. The bubble gum was right there on the tip. It went bubble gum right into oak and spice. Uh, very soft, very soft appeal. For a non-age statement, normally the softer the whiskey is, it's normally has some years on it to cut those sharp edges off. Uh, really lays on the palate, very gentle, like satin sheets. I like that. I like the texture. The bubble gum is still right there on the tip. Caramel. Ooh, more bubble gum. <laughs> maybe it's me. I, I'm getting a, a load of bubble gum. Uh, maybe it's just me. Let me dig back into it. Look at the color on this beauty.
A lot more caramel. A lot more caramel on that one. Uh, vanilla, spice. Almost describes as if I'm um, describing a bourbon. It almost sounds like I'm describing a bourbon. And I have heard that. I, I try to block out things I've heard before and give it my honest opinion. But some things, you like it's like right there. And you have to rule it out, right? So I can hear what you say. But I want to give my honest opinion. So I have to rule out what you say. <laughs> but it's right, still right there. And it is true. Everybody has said it. It does drink like a bourbon. Um, like I said, not much is known about the bottle and the juice inside. But it is pretty good well worth the 98 dollars well worth the 98 dollars i would purchase it again i love the the presentation the beauty the nostalgia like i said the butterfly who doesn't like the butterfly right i'm a man's man but i kind of dig the fly so with that being said monday's rainy draining i'm thinking a nub cameroon just a little nub Cameroon right there to go with this. Pair this up. See if they can make my Monday a little better. Hey, until next time. But before you go, hit the like button. Subscribe. Let me know what you think. If you've had it before, let me know what you think of the cigar pairing. It's a Monday. I don't go too hard and heavy uh, this late in the afternoons on Mondays. I try to go kind of medium to mild just to help me sleep at night. So. Until next time, guys, it's D-Rich.